welcome to edit create and today we are going to create this wonderful effect in after effects well it's all about the taxes well it's all about the taxes so i have already loaded all the assets and the 3d models that are required to create this effect so first of all we will create a comp of full hd which i have already created named as render comp in this project file now we will create another comp of 4500 by 4500 and press ok now we will name this comp as this and create a black solid this comp now on this black solid we will create an effect called grid and we will adjust the grid to our liking now we will pre-comp this grid as well and name it as grid and we will create a mask on the base comp using a circle and adjust it to the center and then feather it a bit now we will go to the render comp and place the base comp in the render comp and make it a 3d layer and now we will adjust it according to our scene and save our project file now we will import our 3d models of our project first we will import our test king which is already included in your project file now i am using after effects 2024 it does support 3d objects we just have to press ok here and object scale i would suggest keep it like at 10 or 20 percent and now we will scale it according to the scene and place it here now we will import the chess pawns just like it with the chess king and we will object scale it to like 10 percent and just position it here as well and scale it as well now we will duplicate it and just position it like they are surrounding the king we will use the two view mode like they are placed correctly we'll move the king a bit farther and then adjust the pieces just make sure that the pieces are aligned correctly we have to also look at the active camera window also and at the top end also now we will import our 3d model of the money and just like the other ones we will do this as 10 percent now we will turn on all our views from here now see this the grid is at 45 degree angle or maybe like 25 degree angle we have to also rotate the pieces according to our grid so I will just rotate them this and the money and align it over grid these ones too so these pieces are not aligned correctly so we will do them individually like that make sure to hit the subscribe button and share our video and we are almost done now we will switch back to the active camera and save the project always save the project now we will import our hands pngs and turn them both to 3d now we will do some lighting in the scene 
we are not gonna complicate the lighting so much we are gonna go simple in this white light or we'll keep it uh, parallel we will just the resolution a bit just to a side light the top view as well and we will use a spotlight that is called the key light and keep the intensity at 100% now we will switch back to the active camera mode We'll also use a point light in this. We will use the red color here. And switch to two view mode. Now it is called like a background light uh, that we see in mostly YouTube videos that are used in real life so we are just using that information to light our scene now for the spotlight we will increase the intensity a bit the cone angle and the let's try switching it to none and we will also use one more light that's gonna be our ambient light and we are gonna make the intensity at 65% here we will increase the intensity of our point light too much switch to two view mode yeah we will convert our hands color to black and white adjust the black and whites copy and paste to the other hand save the project now our lighting needs a bit of adjustment so I will be adjusting the light now we have to look at our grid the grid is looking like the scales of the grid are a big much so we will adjust that in our grid composition as you can see the grid looks much better now so my mac stopped working here didn't record i'm just adjusting some uh, materials like lights and 3d objects just to my liking and nothing else so i have sped up this section of the video to animate this scene we will create a camera and activate the keyframes of point of interest and position and then move to the last frame and just zoom in and we'll go to the first frame zoom out a bit and then we will make the linear animation by using the speed graph now wherever the speed graph is higher it will go fast and the rest of the animation will be smoothed out keep in mind when using speed graph that wherever you want it to be fast just make sure to adjust the graph according to your liking it's easy it's not that hard to do this linear animation it may seem difficult but these are not we see that our king also flies in the air so for that we will select the chess king piece 
and then open up the transform and then activate the keyframe of position and rotation of the z rotation and then we will go to the end frame and make the position upward and give the rotation one whole rotation here just one in the z axis maybe a bit more I think one is okay and we will also make this animation linear and we will use the speed graph and let's review it we will also make the chess piece a bit slant here maybe change the y rotation or x rotation let's try changing the x rotation here and activate the keyframe and then change it a bit to move it forward then we will change the y rotation and then we will change it to make it a look angular like 45 degrees or maybe just adjust it according to what you see fits good now for the text we will create a new comp and name it as text and then we will use the text tool here and type taxes and align it to the center of our composition and I'm using the font impact here and we will use the effect called fractal noise on our text layer just to make it uh, look like grungy look and I will adjust the values according to what I like I will also apply the effect called rougher edges to my text layer just to make it a bit more cringy on the edges of the text and adjust the values according to you I am going a bit harsh on the this here and for a text animation just use the animation composer from Mr. Horse this one I think the text animation looks great let's just preview it and now to adjust in the main render comp we will drag down the text layer to our main comp and adjust it in the comp by making it 3d we may need to use a light and now we will view in the two view mode here and look from the top now we will adjust the text layer according to what we see may fit in the composition better now we will create a spotlight for our text layer because it is really darkened using multiple lights in a 3d composition is a must to make the scene look good So our text is ready here we can also put the text behind the king and maybe adjust the size of our king chess piece to make it a bit small so the text can look bigger and maybe adjust the position as well and adjust the hands as well and I think our effect is looking pretty great here now, now I am going to share some techniques with you that will make your scene look better we will create an adjustment layer for that 
and now we will use div glow on it and adjust the values according to what we see better Another effect that I am going to use is noise. Make sure to not use the color noise. Now I am going to use posterize and adjust the value to maybe 8. Another effect that we are going to apply is posterize time. To make it look like a bit stop motion and use the frame rate 14 and here it looks like it i will use an overlay effect here this just gives a more of a highlighting effect to our composition so for the last touches i have also added a voiceover well it's all about the taxes or uh, we will adjust the animation a bit a little bit more dynamic here well it's all about the taxes well it's all about the taxes now you can leave the options on or off that i have added after completing the scene like deep glow and the stuff you can do it simple as this also or maybe you can or use the effects that I have used in this video as well. We will decrease the opacity here so that the intensity of our effect will be decreased. I'm also gonna put drop shadow to the hands. Uh, just to make it look like it has a stroke on the edges and adjust the drop shadow as I see fit and after adjusting all of our things like glow and drop shadow here is our final render well it's all about the taxes well it's all about the taxes thank you for watching our video make sure to check out our previous video on Magnetos Media and also please subscribe our channel like and share with your fellow editors see you in the next video